the ditch, the sand pit, the dried riverbed, the valley of death. These are some of the ways the witnesses of the events at Babin Yard describe the place, where between 1941 and 1943, over 100,000 people were massacred by Nazi forces. Once a massive, geologically formed ravine on the outskirts of Kyiv, this place looks very different today. During the Soviet era, Babin Yar was systematically obliterated and eventually turned into a park. The memory of its past state is only accessible through archival materials, such as maps, photographs and videos, historic reports, and witness testimonies. We used old topographic maps to reconstruct 3D versions of the Babin Yar landscape during different periods. For example, here you can see the landscape of Babin Yar in 1924. It is overlaid with a photograph taken from a German plane in 1943. Using this method, we can analyze the distinct terrain elements present in the photos. This hill, for instance, can be identified by the shape of the slope right here and those trees over there. By tracing such distinct features, we managed to pinpoint the exact locations where most of the archive photos were taken. This analysis helped us to match the positions of actual cameras used to take the photos with the virtual ones in the reconstructed 3D model and to trace how Babin Yar has changed over time. For example, in this photo taken on October 1st, 1941, the day after the mass execution, Soviet POWs are seen covering the ravine where tens of thousands of dead bodies are buried. We can see that the depth of the ravine in this photo here is visibly lower than it was in 1924. We use the located photographs to reconstruct the terrain in greater detail during various historically relevant moments in time. In this case, for example, the photos by German military photographer Johannes Hehler were used to make the models more precise at the western spur of Babin Yar, where the mass executions of September 29th and 30th took place, and a former sand quarry where the Jews were gathered and undressed before their killing. Each located scene is populated with 3D modeled people, clothes, plants, and other important details that were a part of the historical narrative. The analysis of shadows within the 3D scenes verified the locations of the photos and helped us to find the exact times when they had been taken. Babin Yar models combines digital media and historical research to form a growing knowledge base about one of the most important locations in the history of the Holocaust. The lost territory of Babin Yar is composed of archive materials and is accessible to an online audience in the form of an interactive 3D model. By exploring various narratives, the visitors can learn about the historic events, take the time to look around, and contemplate the complex history of Babin Yar. <laughs>